So we have two shoulders we're primarily concerned about. An isolation to do the bit. That's done on the near edge of the anvil. Flipping it over. Again, isolating some mass of the bar and doing a shoulder for the ring. There's little or no boss shoulder right here, this transition. All right, drop the bar just a couple degrees to get the shoulder started, but then lift it back up as you start to bring this down. And the objective is to bring this into square stop. It's going to turn out to be approximately by eye about three eighths of an inch. So we were here, 180 degrees, come to the other edge, isolate a square, start a shoulder, hold the shoulder tight against the corner, and work that right down. And then when this area starts to look like a square section, stop. Don't spread the twist over a long area. So we're just going to grab a little ways away from the shoulder. Right about there. Quarter turn. So now we're going to continue forging the taper for the rain at that point. So take our twist away, work that, work that, and kiss the corners. And that's all done. So I'm going to roll away from, roll away, and all I'm going to do is a half face blow just to make one side level. Keep it stubby. And then come back here and round it up. Okay, so we've got a nice stubby, thick, strong bit of a needle needle nose thingy. Tip it up on the corner, work the opposite corner, drop your hand, or tip it up on this one, and work that way. Work off of the corner to get our holster. So we want that overhung here so we can finish flat there. So start from, from this side. And just put it in the middle. There isn't a huge amount of magic. Always just approximate it right in the middle of the boss. Go down to refusal. You get all this now? Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. Out. Not forge it. Just kind of level it, clean it with your hammer face. You don't want to change the cross section. You just kind of want to level that out. So we'll nip that off. There's the center punch. I would suggest doing both ends and just cut it in the middle, whatever it may be. Edge, three from that side, three from that side, and that is already finishing the shape of the end of the, the, uh, the rain.
change here and here when we pin the two together to get the handle set appropriate, but we know there's going to be a little bit. There's going to be a, a little bit of curvature to them. So you can put a little pre-curve in it. And then finally, make sure come around a little bit on the top, glancing blows at angles. And uh, make the head before they go even go into the fire. Thank you. 